What is up guys? Welcome to another metagame of the month. If you don't know what this is, if you haven't watched my last metagame of the month, the last time we did enchanted items, this time we're doing mix and mega. Basically, Smogon every month comes out with uh, a new metagame, as the name suggests. And this week's, uh, you can find it right here in OM of the month when you go into format. Uh, one of them is BH doubles, I don't know what that is, but Mix and Megas is a really cool tier. And we're just gonna jump into it, I'm not gonna explain the team too in depth, you guys are gonna see it as we go along during the live. I'm gonna try to make this about 25 minutes because the battles are really, really fast, so I'm gonna get like 5 in there. But basically what it is, is uh, you take a Mega Stone, and you put it on a Pokemon that it's not supposed to be on, and it gains the stat boosts that that stone normally gives, as well as the ability that comes with it, always, even if the ability doesn't change. And if the Pokemon's typing changes as a result of Mega Evolving, if its secondary type changes, so does your Pokemon. So most of these sets here I grabbed from the, um, from the forum, from the thread, as you guys will see right here. We have this thread open. Uh, you might have gotten a glimpse of one of our sets right there, but uh, you can go to Smogon.com, go to... Uh, Compete, Competitive Discussions, Other Metagames, and OM Archive, and it should be right there at the top, Mix and Mega, now with Primals. Really cool, it's, uh, I'm having so much fun with this. We only got a couple of games, but it's so fun already. Okay, so we just got like the biggest wall in the tier, <laughs> Blissey. Uh, as you guys can see what item we're rocking there, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ruin it. If you can see it, you see what it is, it's ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think I'm gonna lead off Durant against this guy, because Durant, I don't know if you saw that item, but... Yeah, there's, there's some really funky stuff in here, man. Um, there's a couple of things that are banned, like uh, Pinsirite, Keldeo. Yes, that's right, Pinsirite. Uh, why Pinsirite, you ask? Well, Keldeo now has an extremely good physical attack with a ridiculous move pool uh, and access to Aerialate. It's just ridiculous. Like, it gains speed as well. It becomes, like, it, it can swords dance up to wall break. It's really, really stupid. So... That was banned. Metacham I just banned on so many Pokemon because we all know how broken that item is. Uh, how broken Mega Metacham is as a Pokemon. So imagine adding that to like different Pokemon that get uh, different abilities before they Mega Evolve different move pools. Ima imagine Mega Metacham with a Fairy type move. So put Gallade with a Metachamite. It's just, it's ridiculous. Anyway, so we've got Durant right here. 475 attack because of Hustle. That's about to change though. We're going to uh, Mega Evolve as he goes out into Ferrothorn. And, uh, has the blue orb. Alright, cool. Uh, and we're gonna go for superpower. Almost knock this thing out. At minus one, uh, we might be able to, actually. Uh, 224 attack. That's after the drop. So, how, how much were we originally at? Only 337? Do we not get- Okay, well, Tough Claws boosts, uh, superpower, but it doesn't show on the attack stat. I'm just gonna superpower again, prevent this thing from getting up hazards. We're now at minus two. Uh, we took no damage from, um from iron barbs ever what what ability was he okay no no he was he was blue orb right he loses he loses the iron barbs ability as soon as he comes in because he's blue orb i forgot to mention uh you probably saw it on the thread but primals are also in here so you can run like uh something that's quad weak to water usually you can put a red orb on them and then get up primordial uh, not prim that was primordial c but uh i forget the name um desolate land that's it uh so this guy brings in keldeo he's not playing games uh, we're going straight into Gyarados. I'm not messing around with this thing. Uh, as he has the... What is that? Alakazite? Oh, God. All right, he goes for a very powerful secret sword. Uh, as we're going to go for a Dragon Dance here. You can see what item we are. Salamence Sight, which means return gets the Aerialate boost. Which is insane because we're already a flying type. So that's that's pretty crazy. Uh, he does have uh, a drop on us. Wh where did that come from? Hold on a second. Uh, Intimidate. Oh, he traced my Intimidate because of... Uh, right, right, right. The Alakazite. All right, I might just return this thing. Um, he goes for Icy Wind. It's not a big deal. Uh, it does lower our speed, but I'm able to return him. And that is going to almost cleanly knock him out. And now what I'm going to want to do is actually go... Do I have anything that's faster than this? Uh, Durant at the moment. Um, so I may just click it again, I think. Uh, I'm actually going to click Waterfall, just in case he wants to switch on to like Crocodile to get an Intimidate off, or to Raikou to resist the hit. Uh, we will be able to knock him out with a waterfall. It's not a problem. We're 246 attack. It's still quite a good amount. As you can see, we get a nice boost. Look at that. 369 originally. That's insane. He actually fails us to knock us out with the Hydro Pump, which is really nice. Uh, I gotta be careful about Blissey, man. Blissey is, is disgusting with its increased defenses. Uh, we're 220 speed. We do not outspeed this ever in our lives. I'm going into Ferrothorn. I'm curious to see which uh, Megastone you put on this. 
Uh, he's uh, Latiasite. Okay, so he gets a good uh, boost in special defense. That's nice. Uh, and his Heracross would be what? That's interesting. Uh, he goes into Heracross now, actually. Uh, we get a very big d defense boost from his Megastone, <laughs> Heracur Knight. So uh, what I'm actually going to do is go for uh, Gyro Ball, because a lot of people like to put boosting speed... Um, Megas on these. Yeah, you see Lapa Knight right there. Close Combat is going to be able to take us out, actually, which is kind of surprising. Um, well, then again, not so much. Uh, he does have not too high speed, though. Okay, I think Durant's is higher, so I could just go for an Iron Head here. Uh, my team is extremely fighting weak, so uh, if you guys haven't noticed, that's why I put, I put uh, Gyarados on there. I'm going to go into Durant. I uh, should, in theory, be able to knock him out with, a, um, with an Iron Head here. Tough Claws boosted, definitely. I gotta keep this thing around for this Heracrosser. It's gonna run through my team. Or I have to Mega Evolve my uh, my Meloetta. You guys will see what that is. It's actually the item that he's holding right now, Lopanite, which makes Meloetta a ridiculous wall breaker when it's in pirouette form. It's disgusting. It gets the 188 attack. 188 base attack, guys. That's I think that's higher than Mega Metacham, even with pure power. I'm not sure though. Hold on. No, no, no. It gets a, a huge boost. Okay, we failed to knock out his uh, Heracross actually, but we do live. We do live. That's nice. So unless he has a Rocky Helmet somewhere on his team, we have to keep this Durant specifically for that. He goes into his uh, Raikou. Uh, that's cool. I'm going to sack off. Actually, hold on a second. Um, I'm going to go Gyarados, yeah, because I don't want Blissey uh, getting damaged. He's just going to Volt Switch anyway, and I assume he would go into back into Heracross because it pretty much handles everything. Uh, he goes into Crook, actually. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I should be faster. Maybe not. Um, not before the pirouette form. That's the one thing about Meloetta, is it basically has to Mega Evolve twice. Oh, you know what I could do? Yeah, we're Altaria Knight Hydreigon, which means we actually resist his Fighting-type move after we Mega Evolve. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, I'm gonna go into Meloetta on this thing, because I don't see how it would be able to knock me out in one turn. And I'm just going to go for the Relic Song. And uh, he should know what set this is, because a lot of his sets seem very standard. Uh, like the... Um, well, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. What was his uh, Raikou again? Latiosite? Or Latiosite? He goes uh, Ground Flying. Pincer. Oh god, okay, we're dead. Yep. Um, <laughs> what do I have for this? He's relatively fast, but I still think Durant is faster. Problem is, we don't knock him out in one hit. Uh, but this thing doesn't get access to close combat, I don't believe. So what I can do is just go for... Uh, I could actually set up my rocks here. That would be huge. Because then his hair cross dies when it comes in. And I'm pretty sure Hydreigon can live uh, a return from this thing. I would just go for Hyper Voice or Fire Blast and knock it out. Uh, what I'm actually going to do... No, I'm not con too concerned with that because I still have Durant in the back. I'm going to just spam Super Power at this point. Well, not while this thing is around, but I'm going to go for an Ice Beam. He's uh, going to go for a return. As you can see, that does absolutely nothing. We're going to get off this huge Ice Beam <laughs> and knock him straight out. <laughs> That's amazing. That's so good. Um, his Blissey cannot switch into a superpower from Durant before it's Mega Evolved, which it's not right now, I believe. I don't believe it ever Mega Evolved. I believe it just switched out on turn one. He is going to go to Lopany. Uh, I call it Lopany, but it's actually Heracross. Uh, just gonna go for an Ice Beam here. He should close combat. Yep. Alright, that's fine. And uh, now we are going to go into Hydreigon because, again, I want to save Durant for the uh, for the Blissey. So I'm just gonna go for a Hyper Voice right here. As he, in theory, should just attack me again. Which he is. Close combat is neutral. We don't resist it. Sorry, that was my mistake. Uh, but his Raikou shouldn't have access to anything to knock us out. And Blissey's gonna have to do the job on its own, basically. Really hoping it doesn't have rocks, because then we lose this first game. But, um, I think Durant should be able to come through after I get off a little bit of damage on this Blissey. We'll see, though. Let's go for the Hyper Voice. It is, uh, Pixelate boosted. It's gonna do a good amount. Uh, no, no, it's not. <laughs> He's gonna go for Seismic Toss. Uh, he has his standard typing right now, but he has Sableye's defenses. Uh, that doesn't give you more defense than Slowbro, does it? Hold on a second. Sableye, like regular Sableye to Mega Sableye. Defense goes from si uh, 75 to uh, 125. Okay, so yes, it is actually. Oh man, that's scary. I think we just lose here. Actually, we can Iron Head flinch, but then he has the Raikou in the back. All right, I'm going for Super Power. Screw it. That did 74. <laughs> it wasn't enough. No, 
All right, we're gonna lose that first one. That's fine. Let's go next one. We're already 10 minutes deep This is too long. These should be going way faster. I didn't play that right I, I definitely need another fighting resistance my on my team. Look at look at this guy's team He's got like half of Ash's team and then like a couple a couple of fighting types right here He's got two fighting types. What am I supposed to do against this? All right, you know what we do? We lead with Meloetta Straight off the bat, we lead with Mel Meloetta. This thing can't do anything to us. I'm going for Relic Song, even if it's Charizard X. Like, I had speed it on the following turn and destroy it. So, uh, we're gonna Mega Evolve. We're going to uh, go for the Relic Song. Yeah, I think we get both. Don't we get both boosts at the same time, though? Okay, he goes into Blaziken, which is not a bad play, but it's not great. Uh, it takes 33% uh, right there. Uh, we are 390 speed at the moment. Um, do we only get our speed boost on the next turn? Because doesn't this thing always hit 390? I feel like it does. It definitely does. So wh where are my boosts? I'm going for return. And that should... Oh, okay, not enough. Goes for the Brave Bird. Uh, doesn't knock us out, though. That's nice. He's gonna go down to Recoil. Uh, he does have another Brave Birding Mon in the back, being Talonflame, but he's just gonna forfeit. Okay. Let's go on to the next one. As uh, my opponent has... Oh, this is a cool team, man. I'm curious to see what, what Mega Stones these things are gonna be holding. I'm gonna lead with Blissey because that is a very good matchup against my opponent's team. He leads with Volcarona, that's fine. Uh, I'm just gonna go for Stealth Rocks. Red Orb, okay. Intense Sun, that's cool. Let's just go for Rocks. Uh, we're gonna Mega Evolve, he's gonna go into his uh, Florgis actually. Uh, we do have the Slowbro Knight now. I probably shouldn't have Mega Evolved right away because Natural cu uh, natural Cure is really, really nice. I'm just gonna go to Ferrothorn, I'm just gonna Spike Stack this guy actually. As he's going to Mega Evolve into Sa- oh god. Oh no. <laughs> This is bad, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait a minute. Mega Sableye goes down to 20 speed. Regular Sableye is what? Uh, It's 50. Oh, this thing is not taking anything from a Gyro Ball, is it? Ooh, that's not good. Wait a minute. We have an answer. Let's go, Durant. We have an answer, my friends. Gonna go for the Call Mine. Not too much of a deal. Big deal. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Iron Head right here. Uh, should I Mega Evolve, actually? I think I might not. Uh, I think I might save it for when his uh, Magna Zone comes in. That might be my play. Uh, no, there's no reason not to Mega Evolve, honestly. I'm just gonna go for the Iron Head. It's gonna do 91. <laughs> Very nice and flinch. There we go. And now we're gonna. What's great is this, this thing loses Hustle. So it literally just destroys everything. <laughs> and it can't miss. That's a. Durant is broken, man. Durant is broken with, like, any Mega Stone. I'm glad they didn't give it a Mega Evolution because it would be absurd. Unless it was, like, all in its special defense. Uh, X Scissor is going to clean knock this thing out, unless it gives itself a secondary typing. Uh, it's Benedite. Okay, that doesn't matter. Okay, so it doesn't knock it out, but it's okay. He goes for Thunder Wave, which is a very nice play. I don't have a Heal Beller on this team. I'm just gonna go for Iron Head. He does have the Defog, actually, which is kind of surprising, because most people wouldn't run Hazard Removal in this tier. Uh, we do have Super Power for the Magnezone and the Bisharp. His Volcarona decides to come in. This doesn't trap me, though. And I just go back into Blissey. Like, I, I don't understand. He goes for a Quiver. That's okay, though. Uh, I'm just gonna go for Stealth Rocks again. Goes for Quiver. Cool. I'm just gonna start spamming him with T-Bolts. Honestly. Uh, I don't have another play, really. <laughs> uh, he goes for another one. Uh, I'm gonna go for the T-Bolt. It's gonna do absolutely nothing. I wanted the Para on this thing. Uh, but you know what? We're gonna go into Gyarados now. Because he doesn't get a boost in his attack, so... He's gonna go for another Quiver. I don't think any move that he can go for will, like, straight knock me out. So I'm just gonna go for the Return right here. It's a Flying-type move. Uh, he could go for a Fire... That fire Blast could potentially knock me out, actually. Goes for Bug Buzz. That does not take me out. Guess the Spadef Drop doesn't really matter because Return is going to be able to take out this Volcarona, which was the biggest threat to us at this point. We do have Earthquake for the Bisharp and for the Magnezone. He may just go for Swords Dance right here, so I'm just gonna click EQ just to be safe. Uh, I don't want him getting uh, Swords Dance up. That would be actually pretty bad. Uh, Meloetta is still around, but anyway. Uh, he's Lucario Knight. He takes 83 from that uh, and goes for a Swords Dance. Okay. All right, buddy. Um, calm down. We're going to go into Ferrothorn because if he decides to hit us, he will die. Uh, we are not Mega Evolved, and I will stay unmega Evolved, guys. I am not Mega Evolving in front of this thing. I want it to kill itself. He goes for Knock Off. He cannot knock off our item. We are going to get a Spike up for free. That's awesome. His Magnezone can come in now, trap us, but it doesn't matter at this point, we just win. He actually chooses to go into Neuburn. So at no point did he ever have an intention of using Magnezone this game, even though I had a Ferrothorn. That's quite interesting. Uh, he becomes... Oh, oh god. Wait a minute, this thing hits all of its hurricanes and it has ridiculous special attack now. Um, 
That's not terrible, though. We have Blissey. I'm just gonna go for Ice Beam, honestly. <laughs> just knock this thing out. I only showed him Thunderbolt. He goes for Focus Blast. That does 42. That does 42%. Wow. <laughs> okay. This is a Blissey we're talking about. I mean, like, I'm not invested in HP or Special Defense at all. Everything is in Special Attack and, uh, and Defense. But, like, still, you you'd expect it to do a little bit... Uh, a little bit less to Blissey. Uh, Thunderbolt does 21, not a big deal. Ice Beam is going to come through and do 17. We're going to go for Soft Boiled here. He can't really do anything to us. Like, he doesn't have access to Calm Mind or anything. Uh, we're just going to Ice Beam this thing all the way down. Nice and slow, Bro Knight. Blissey coming through. Not that we needed it, but <laughs> I'm just going to go for a Soft Boiled again. I just want to win with Blissey. Actually, you know what? I don't. Okay, well, he paras us, so that's perfect. Uh, we're probably not going to win with Blissey now. He's going to take us down before we knock him out. You know who I want to win with? I want to win with, um, with Meloetta. I want to go for a, uh, actually, Para, Para, Para. No, come on. Uh, I'm going to Stealth Rock here. All right, Thunderbolt me. Cool. I want to win with Meloetta. I don't think there's a way to now, though, because I think Relic Song is going to knock him out. I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's go for Relic Song. Let's see. It should take him out from this range. He's at 17%. This is a lot of attack. Yeah, that's that's clean damage. I wanted to get off a Mega Evolved Close Combat on him, to be honest. So that's three games. That's two wins. Let's keep going. We got uh, we got about nine minutes left. We should be able to get two more games. Okay, this guy. Dude, you, Beedrillite is banned. You know why? The, this thing. You see my mouse? This thing right here. This V creature. Dude, give it adaptability and base 160 attack with a base 180 attack and V create. That's ridiculous. Like, don't do that. Don't do that, Smogon. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, gonna lead off with Ferrothorn. He leads off with Ambipom. That's kind of what I wanted. And uh, we're just gonna go for the... Uh, I'm just gonna go for a Spike, honestly. I'm not gonna Mega Evolve just yet. He's going to Mega into Altaria Knight. That's cool. So he's a Fairy now, which means I can hit him for super effective damage. Uh, I'm actually going to Mega Evolve and go for the Pin Missile on this turn. He chooses to stay in though. Go okay, goes for a U-turn. That's good. He's probably gonna go Victini. That's why I went for a uh, for a pin missile right there. Does go Victini. Awesome. We're able to get off some damage on that. This is gonna be five hits because of the Heracronite, and uh, we have increased defense. We still can't take a V create though. Though there's no way. Uh, I'm gonna go into Blissey right here because Blissey can definitely take this. Uh, he mega evolves into Aerodactylite. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Tough claws boosted. Yep. Uh, he's also a lot faster than my Meloetta now. Uh, we cannot take a V create. Okay, I'm going to Gyarados and I'm winning. I'm just straight up winning, guys. That's it. It's over. Uh, actually, he can Bolt Strike. What am I doing? Uh, I'm gonna go... What do I go into? Durant? I don't even know. I don't even know. Let's go, um... Nah, you know what? Okay. Yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. We're going, uh, we're going to Hydreigon. Hydreigon... He actually switches out, so he might be... No, he's not Choice Bandit. There's no way. Uh, we're going to Mega Evolve in Dark Pulse, because he doesn't have a very good switch outside of Blissey. Uh, he, okay, Water and Steel. That's cool. We flinch it, though. Uh, I'm going to go for another one, because, again, Blissey's his only switch. He does go into it. Uh, but as you can see, our team is chock full of, of uh, physical attackers. <laughs> I don't know if my voice cracked there. It kind of sounded like it did. Uh, he's going to Mega Evolve into Banette. He's going to para... Oh, Hold on. Let's go for Relic Song. It's going to do a lot to anything, including Slowbro, including Blissey. Ambipom's actually going to come in. Hopefully we can get this off as we do. That's awesome. And with the Mega Evolved form, I should be able to go for... Okay, he gets a crit fake out. That's nice. We're going to go for Quick Attack here. Uh, this was our strongest attacker to take out Blissey. That Quick Attack did less. What the heck? Why? <laughs> what did do okay, our fake out... Was our fake out a crit? No. Okay, Relic Song is a more powerful move, I know, but... That did a lot less. That was crazy. All right, we're gonna go Gyarados here. Uh, he's definitely not choice then anyway, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna double into Hydreigon to test if he has the Bolt Strike. He does, and he gets a crit on us, which is very unfortunate. Um, but why is he so strong? Is my question. That's really weird. All right, I'm going into Pharaoh on this thing. As he goes for another Bolt Strike, does he think he's choice locked or something? And he gets another Para. Are you serious? I'm going for spikes. He, he, why does he keep doing that? He can just V-create me. I don't understand. All right, I'm going for another layer of spikes. I hope I don't get paralyzed. Okay, cool. That's going to really help. That's going to really, really help. I'm going for gyro here. He keeps swords dancing. This is going to do a lot. It's going to bring him down to his sash, which is awesome. 
uh, as we can just go for a pin missile now. Goes for a Mega Horn and misses, so uh, yeah, okay, we, we missed too. That's awesome. Uh, gonna go for another Gyro. He is gonna knock us out with the Mega Horn right there. I really shouldn't. I really should have kept this non-Mega evolved. Uh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go into Gyarados. We're gonna get an Attack Drop. We're going to uh, eat up with it, whatever move he goes for, unless it's Rock Slide. And uh, he goes for a Poison Jab. We eat that up. We do get Poison, so he's getting all the hacks. And uh, we're gonna go for a uh, Waterfall right here. He'll still outspeed us though, because it's a Scallopede. What was I doing? Um, <laughs> gonna go into Durant. Durant pretty much uh, can 1v1 his team, actually. Now that I'm looking at it, like, X Scissor destroys everything. Why didn't I Mega Evolve? Alright, so Earthquake didn't take us out, which is cool. Uh, he's gonna go Ambipom. That's fine because he dies to the next spike. I'm gonna go for uh, Switch and Hydreigon. As he goes for the Fake Out, that's absolutely fine. But he's not Life Orb, so he's gonna take us out here, isn't he? I should have just gotten the Speed Boost. Damn, why didn't I do that? Uh, he is going to go for the knockoff, and that is going to be able to take us out, so that's going to be 2 and 2. Come on. Let's get one more win. Let's make it 3 and 2. It's a fun team, man. It's cool. Uh, I'm going to lead with Hydreigon against this guy. Because if he leads with, uh, not this, I was expecting the uh, Terrakion lead, but anyway. Uh, this is fine because we should be able to uh, just switch out into Blissey, actually. Uh, should be okay. Don't be Hypnosis, please. He's going to Mega Evolve into a nice Fairy type with the Altaria Knight. Go for Fake Out. It's going to do absolutely nothing. Just going to go for Stealth Rocks here. It's uh, it's going to affect pretty much everything on his team. Very nice for Superior, for uh, Zapdos, and Cofagrigus, actually. Uh, he's Blue Orb. So he doesn't take Fire Hits, which is a very nice strategy. I like that on uh, on Ferrothorn. It's kind of cool. Just going to go for Ice Beam here. Gauge the damage. Not doing too much, but it's fine. He's going to go for uh, Thunder Wave. I shouldn't have Mega Evolved again. I made that mistake again. All right, we're going to go into uh, Meloetta here, I think. Actually, I'm going Ferrothorn. And against his team, I have no reason to not Mega Evolve uh, and gain the bulk because he doesn't have anything that I would want taking uh, Iron Barb's damage. Almost everything is a special attacker. Thrakion does come in, and uh, I only have one switch into this, which is Gyarados. I should be able to take close combat unless his, uh, his item is uh, attack boosting. I'm just going to go for a Gyro. He is Lucario Knight. He goes for Stealth Rocks. Awesome. We're able to take out his Terrakion, which is pretty much one of the only things that could have straight knocked out Ferrothorn. Outside of maybe Zapdos. We'll see if he has the Heat Wave. Uh, maybe it's uh, Manekite. <laughs> Manekite uh, Zapdos. That would be cool. Gain the um, gain the speed and the special attack. That's that's pretty insane. Make your Zapdos better than a Mega Manectric. Pretty powerful, uh, pretty powerful electric type right there, I have to say. I think, uh, I think his play is probably Kofag. Um, he does go into his Ferrothorn, actually. Interesting play. Uh, that just means I can get up more spikes. I'm not opposed to that at all. He does have his own spikes. That's fine. Uh, most of my team is actually not grounded. Well, most. Well, the things that threaten him are not grounded. Uh, I'm just going to go for a uh, pin missile right here. I don't care if he spikes again. Get off some good damage on this Ferrothorn. Uh, might even put it into a KO range thanks to that crit. Uh, it does look like it's gonna be enough. It's doing six times five. Yep, yeah, that's uh, that's 30. He's gonna get max layers I'm not too concerned once again as we are gonna be able to knock out this ferrothorn Which means now we can spam fire moves again. Not that we couldn't before but it, you know what I mean uh, Gyarados is gonna enjoy this end game. I think Definitely looking like it's going to appreciate uh, Being able to spam waterfall in return uh, Superior is actually going to come in. I don't know what this thing's going to do to me. Uh, even if it's HP fire, it doesn't really, unless it's like Alakazite, then it could potentially knock me out. But I'm just going to go for a pin missile. Uh, Superior with Alakazite. We might try that on the next episode. Um, okay, he goes for sub. Uh, the first one's going to break it. The second one's going to do 27, and the third one's going to take him out. So, goodbye, Superior. And, um, Joey, uh, PokeMMD, is actually doing this for um, Subhub. If you don't know what Subhub is, definitely go check out his channel. He has one recently posted. Uh, it's really cool. It's where uh, your subscribers send in sets, and uh, every week they do a different meta. And this time they're doing this meta, so I'm just getting prepped for it. going to try to get a couple of games in, uh, potentially. He goes for... Uh, oh, he's an Electric Steel type. That's cool. What has that typing? I'm trying to remember. Electric and Steel. Oh, right. Magneton. Is he, um, what is he? He's Agronite. That's kind of cool. Just going to keep going for Gyro Ball. Discharge is doing, like, absolutely nothing. And I don't need this Mon, so I'm just going to keep spamming this move. Like, does he have Roost on this thing? He does. Okay. All right. I see you. I see you. All right. So how do we beat this? I think we go into uh, Blissey for sure. 
I think that's the play. Electric and Steel is so strong, especially with something that's not frail like Zapdos. Uh, we're just gonna go for a Soft Boiled here. He should just go for another uh, another Ancient Power and try to get the boosts. The boosts aren't really gonna matter in the end. Uh, I mean, I have something that completely counters this and destroys it in one hit, uh, which is Hydreigon. So, uh, well, one hit. He has Filter as an ability, so... Probably not gonna happen, but uh, we'll spam Ice Beam here, try to get the Freeze, we'll see if we get it. Uh, we do not. I can't switch Hydreigon directly into this. It's kind of dangerous, especially if he goes for a Discharge. That would suck. Uh, the fact that he got up max layer. Okay, he finally gets the boosts. Uh, but with only one round of boosts, I don't think it's... Again, I don't think it's going to be enough to, to beat me. It should, uh, shouldn't come down to that. He's just going to keep going for the boosts. I mean, uh, I'm going to go for Ice Beam again on this turn. He should roost in theory. Uh, he does go for Discharge this time. Okay. Uh, we're going to get fully parried finally. Uh, that's, that's good for him, I guess. He's going to go for another Discharge. Uh, we're going to Soft Boiled Up. And we're going to keep going for Ice Beam. He's going to go for Ancient Power. Luckily, he doesn't have pressure because we'd be losing a lot of Ice Beam PP. Uh, he's going to run out of Ancient Powers. He is out, actually. So now he has to go for Discharges. And he only has 21 of those. Uh, so we might actually be able to stall out his entire moveset. Uh, we're going to go for Ice Beam again. Uh, not his Roosts, obviously. We won't be stalling those out. But, like, if I can get a Freeze on this thing, this game is over. This is a long last game. Come on, man. I'm recording. Don't do this to me. Uh, that Discharge is only doing 18% with a plus one special attack. So as long as I get off the, um, the Soft Boiled in time... Uh, then he shouldn't be able to beat me 1v1. This is just a losing battle for him. In fact, yeah, he says GG. GG, man. And uh, he's gone. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Like I said, guys, uh, I'm probably going to be posting this again uh, because Joey, for the first time on Subhub, is going to be taking accepting challenges uh, from uh, from people. If you want to if you want to be part of that, check out his Twitter, uh, PokeMMD, um, at PokeMMD, and uh, check out my Twitter. It's also in the description down below. Check out my Facebook page. You guys don't do that. Check out my Facebook page, man. It's only got 42 likes, and I have double that in subscribers. Like, where are you guys? Get on that Facebook page. Like, if you want more, like, news about what's going on with the channel, uh, stuff like that, follow me on either Twitter or on Facebook. I know Twitter's a little bit better, probably. But, uh, yeah, that wraps it up for today, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys next time. Ciao.